Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vase Plays Delver's Drop. I'm gonna take out the Gladiator today. Did a little bit of, um, Delver's Drop on the stream, and, uh, that will be a normal thing. But didn't play the, didn't play the Gladiator, so, uh, we took out the Rusty Machete last episode, so I'm gonna take out the Rusty Hammer this episode. Um, because I think I've mentioned this before, it doesn't really matter what weapon you have with the Gladiator. As long as you've got a weapon. Um, I, I really do look uh, forward to, thank you, uh, to the new weapons. Especially the uh, flail. I, I'm actually really really sad we never, we never got to see the cleric. Um, and I, I kind of wanted to see what they would do with the cleric. I, I'm hoping that he's another one of those um, characters that we will see perhaps ooh, in uh, side material, uh, expansion material. I don't imagine he'll get like a heal. I don't think he'll be like a, a, a standard um, cleric, no healing or anything like that. Um, but you never know. Um, the the co-op in this game is only local. I don't know how how fine-tuned things are gonna be for the local. That's something I think that is gonna be one of the probably one of the last things that's worked on, or at least something really late in development, which is more than understandable. Um, I I was a little disappointed to hear that it was local only, but I I can completely understand not you know wanting to run the servers and pay for the servers and um, do the net code and whatever else needs to go into uh, making a game fully online. You know, it's, it's, it's just flipping a switch, as I'm, I've been told, uh, but that, that is, of course, not true. Um, so, maybe in an expansion, maybe, maybe at some point we will get to see a fully online uh, Delver's Drop co-op. Um, because I like getting to play with friends. I'm gonna hope. Ah, uh, effing bats, man! Every time. It's probably just a little too um, little too lazy to move out of the way. Um, but yeah, so I I will be playing some with mongoose. Maybe some with Vault Monkey, um, if and when he comes to the states. Um, at least with with Mongoose, she's only about a two and a half hour drive away, um, and, it, and it may be getting shorter if I get, I uh, am able to move down to the capital when uh, it's time to do that. So um, that that will be doable. I am I suspect we need to get the hell out of there for that exact reason. We need to get the hell out of there. It's all about timing. There we go. And it's also all about attacking before they get, you know, close. But this is going much smoother than usual. Don't step on... See, it it's crazy to me. I know this is the, the still the, the rusty mallet, but it does the same damage as the non-rusty mallet, which does less damage than the buzzing steel saber. So the... the the rogue actually does um, more damage. Of course, that was going to happen. Um, depending on the weapon you've got, which is insane. Um, I don't. I forget why they only had two weapons for the gladiator. I. I feel at some point they explained it, and of course it's dead end. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like they explained it at some point, and I just, I just can't for the life of me remember what the reason was. Um, again, when the weapons come online, uh, none of that will really matter because we'll be living in a post-weapon update world at that point, and nothing, nothing, it, nothing can go back to the way it was. Uh, it's it's only forward from now on after that update. Um, I I really like the uh, Borderlands-style weapon system, which again, this this game is going to have something very similar. Um, not exact, not identical, of course, because, you know, no, well, I can't even say not identical because there will be guns, but perhaps not as, um, complex 
and I know that some people might scoff at that, but if you've actually researched how weapons are generated in Borderlands, it's it's quite the algorithm. So, and I, I re yeah, I really like Borderlands the series. Uh, I feel two is is a superior product overall. There are parts that I wish Borderlands one would have you know transitioned to Borderlands two, but I I think Borderlands two more or less did everything okay. I one of the biggest issues that I have with Borderlands two is, and and not with Borderlands one is in Borderlands one you could get mods and stuff that let you gen regenerate ammo. And you cannot do that. We're on the third floor, by the way. Um, you can't do that in Borderlands uh, 2 for whatever reason. Um, which sucks, because um, literally having to run around and and worry about ammo is, is probably one of the most tedious things. Especially when you're using like an SMG, which is what I'm using at least on the character that I'm playing now, today. Um, so we don't have to be here. That is always that is always a dead end. That never empties out. Um, I'm going to say that every episode. Just, that is a, a tip that I think is really important. Um, there's no real way to, to know it's coming. If you could, then you could, you know, do um, corrections in your trajectory. Um, I, I think there will be like a, a, not a map per se, but um, a way for you to see where you're going. I knew I was going to get hit by that. Um, there we go. Crush. Crush. I really, I cannot wait for this to get its damage back. How the Gladiator got its damage back, starring I don't even know a, a person in, that, in any of those movies. I hate that. like okay oh nice we don't have to uh, worry about that there we go I hate you bat perhaps some uh, shields some at some point game instead of just long straight corridors health I actually haven't needed that he says before he you know takes a ghost shot to the face so far, it's been pretty linear. That's gonna bite me in the ass. The knockback is appropriate, I think, for them. Shield? Nope. Oh well. Game's not been 100% con- Oh, almost did damage to us. I believe the term is F off you. I'm just gonna pick that up because I can. And we're not going to get any damage. So we're onto the fourth floor. This is actually pretty going pretty quick for a gladiator run. And, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping they'll give us the debug mode that they have to test out all the weapons. Um, because I would like to test them out without them breaking. We'll see how that goes. I would really, I'm really excited for the Spirit Flask. Although, when I saw it last, it actually just like put down a fireball. I don't know if that was intended to be the final version or if they're gonna like do something different. But it, it, basically, it made like a landmine. Um, you, you'd have to like put it on and let enemies run into it. Um, which could be entertaining but I, I think it would be a little it'll be well I, it will be really I don't even think thought comes into this it's going to be really difficult to um, manage that as a weapon since things are not inclined necessarily to um, go that nicely for you I figured that was going to hit me um, I should have stayed a little bit away that's all good um, there we go no, Bat, stop moving things. You're not an interior decorator. Very relaxed run. Um, oh, I didn't see you. Apologies, Rat. And that is probably one of the fastest fourth floors I have ever managed to get. <clears throat> so we are on to the fifth floor. Um, a little less rambly today, 
uh, not a whole lot to, to chit chat about. I guess. Not that I don't want to chit chat, it's just, you know. Um, things have been been going really well, so I don't. I just don't want to brag. I I try to be fairly humble. Um, I know that might not come across. I, as I've said before, there's a little bit of ego that goes into being a let's player, especially if if you um, actively try to to be seen and promote yourself. You kind of have to, if, if you are a humble person or a shy person, which I'm not necessarily all either of those, depending on who you ask. Oh, yep, that was stupid. I should have known to move. This is like gladiator hell right here. All right, now this sometimes opens up, which it did this time. And that was nice of them to kind of fly. These rooms are really nice as the melee classes. These ones in particular. With the sorcerer, you have to shoot four times. Ah, uh, that was, like, the best timing I've ever had. I think I might... Ah. Uh, I think I might be improving, he says as he gets the shit knocked out of him by... I mean, apologies for the language. I am, I am really doing my best to... Uh, tone that down. I think I've done a- I feel like I've done a, a pretty good job. Um, but, you know, if you guys still think I'm cursing, I shouldn't have been attacking over and over like that. Um, if you guys think that I'm- I'm still doing it too much, you know, please let me know. Um, especially if it offends you. I wouldn't want to offend anyone. Um, it's not really my desire. Um, I really hope... Nope. Okay. Another big room. Ah, oh, so many... So many bats. So many bats. Um, so yeah, I'm actually kind of doing bad now. Um, but I'll do my best to... <laughs> this, this room is kind of rough for the gladiator. Um... Especially if you're bad at the gladiator. Like, I, I feel like with the gladiator, I, I really could, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we're actually pretty close to the uh, the right room. Um, I feel with the gladiator that I could actually manage to get a perfect run. Because he's so slow, I just think it would take a long time. But I, I definitely feel like it's doable. Um, and I'm pretty sure up above is exactly the room we, we, we want to, to go in. Um, took some frames there, but nothing below 30, which is why I have... Um, yeah, there we go, let's just do that. I'm pretty sure the Blazelings are supposed to spawn. And there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yep. That was actually st also still a really fast fourth floor. It wasn't a no damage run, but I really feel like I'll be able to accomplish that with the Gladiator. Which is weird, because I don't actually think I will be able to accomplish it with the Rogue. Which you would think if I could accomplish it with the Gladiator, I could accomplish it with the Rogue. Maybe I'm just being self-defeating. Who knows? Um, this has gone really well, actually. This actually kind of makes me happy to have played the Gladiator. This Not that this run would have gone if I, if I got this C, which there's no telling, you know. Um, but if I got the seed on the rogue, I actually feel like I, I also could have probably got it. I actually think I could have got a, a perfect run, just because of the damage and all that. But that's neither here nor there. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.